My name is Anna, and I'm the very first employee at Luxury Bazaar. Everybody loves talking about the grind. Everybody loves talking about what it takes to make it in a business. This is not a story of someone trying to make it. We already made it. We're a $100 million company a year. We've already built a brand and a status within the industry, but that doesn't mean that we're done. Not only am I going to show you some of the behind the scenes, I'm also going to show you what it takes to run a $100 million company a year and take it to a $300 million company a year. It's really hard to keep a $100 million beast afloat, and it's even harder to take it to the next level. So stay tuned, and welcome to Gray Market. I also have a refugee story. So we moved to Israel when the Gulf War started. All the rest of my family actually moved to the U.S., so we were the only ones in Israel. We didn't speak any Hebrew. When the war started, we had no idea it was happening. They woke us up, told us to put a gas mask on, because that's what they were doing. Actually, there's a funny, well, not really funny story, but my mom brings me to school, and everybody's wearing costumes, and I'm the only one without a costume. Obviously, she didn't know, and nobody told her. If they did tell her, she didn't understand the language. So they gave me some kind of a um, costume to wear with like a curly hair wig and uh, like a Moroccan robe. Good morning. Good morning. What, did you get dressed within like seconds? Yeah. What's so I asked Sarah to send me the two paddock boxes for my watches. Uh, she gave them. Right. And and she tells me, oh, Roman already told me to give them to somebody else. Right, but we have two more coming from uh, TPT. I've been I've been waiting for these Rolex boxes for two months. You mean paddock boxes? Rolex? Did I say Rolex? I mean paddock. Yes. So those two boxes we're supposed to get from Neil from TPT or short. So have a drip because instead of shipping the stuff back and forth, we sold the stuff with two paddocks. Okay. So I gave him those two paddock boxes. I see. So the two paddocks, so the two paddock boxes that we owe, that we are owed for the fifty-two. I got 66. it. I got you. So. Fifty with Neil. Okay. What else is going on over there? Um, can we send the wire for one seventy today? I already did that yesterday. No, you didn't. What do you mean we did? Hundred percent. No. I told Tanya to send, the first thing I told Tanya to do is to send that one seven. Okay. And uh, did you walk over there? Hundred percent, it was sent. It w it wasn't sent. It wasn't sent. I'm I'm gonna talk to her. Um, and what about the eighty five? I also got eighty five was sent. And both one seventy and eighty five were sent. Okay, I'll talk to her right now. Uh, how's Nick doing? Nick is doing great, actually. Nick. Okay. Nick. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What? Have a seat. Oh boy. <laughs> You're not in trouble, don't worry. You sure? <laughs> I always try to um, ask Nick as much as possible about any deals that he's working on, just to make sure that he's on top of everything and to give him advice. Tell me, anything going on with the Zenith water? Uh, I have not been able to find this watch. Did you? I checked Watch Mafia. Screw loose. Um, did you fixed. contact the customer? Yes, I did shoot him an email. Uh, I sent him a follow-up email just saying, hey, look, like we're so When did you do that? Uh, like Tuesday. Tuesday? Because he actually texted me asking me what's what's up. Did he reply to you or no? No. So he made a went to spam yeah. <laughs> or something like that? Uh, so yeah, I sent him an email right before New York. I would text him again okay. and just to make sure that he received the email and then see... What did you tell him? Did you ask him if he wants to get anything else? Instead? Yeah, I just want to ask pretty much the, the baseline. I was like, is there anything else that would interest you that you were looking right. for? You know, like very like... So what's forward. the issue? It's, the, it's discontinued? Yeah, that specific Zenith is, is discontinued. So right. it's just been pain in the ass to find. Right. So, I mean, in these situations, there's nothing really that we can do. Right. If you never know, maybe we'll get this watch pre-owned someday. Right. Maybe it's going to come in within two days. You never know. Yeah. Um, so just, you know, just have to okay. let him know up front. Cool. Yeah, I'll shoot him, him another, kind of shoot another email it. and just give him, make sure he has my personal number. So yeah. if there's any issue. Okay. What about your trade? Which one? With the Omega? You were supposed to get a PayPal payment? The Omega? Was it Omega? No, it was the, the tutor that came yes. in yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all set. Should be getting shipped out today. 
And then I'm working on that trade for the Batman for a... GMT? One. Yeah. So, I'm just, he per is going to send us the wire today, uh, okay. I guess, when he wants. Well, he needs to send in the watch first. He's going to do both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he was just like, I'd rather feel, I feel more comfortable that way. I know I have a security deposit down. I was like, okay, whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, but I sent him an overnight label last night. Um, he just wasn't able to get the FedEx in time. So he'll ship it out tonight. Cool. We'll well, it was, it was a two-ton sub, right? Yeah. Okay. Already sold. Nice. Yeah, I'm learning from the best. That's right. Yeah, so everything I've been learning, I've been learning through Anna. Um, Anna's been absolutely great. Literally any question that I could possibly have with sales, uh, she's answered in the best way possible. Thanks, Anna. When I was 16, my grandpa applied for a green card for me and my mom, and we actually won. We actually made a decision that I'm going to go to America by myself, and my mom had to stay for work. So we decided that I'm going to move there on my own. So this is Lee. He's actually a watch dealer and he owns a store in the area. He purchases watches all the time, but I think this time he just came in for the sweatshirt. You got that rose gold GP last time, that was yes. great. Did you sell that? Uh, I did. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It turned out uh, it wasn't for me, but uh, right. it Listen, was for somebody hey, else. Yeah, it's not a problem. Got this guy. If you have anybody. Look at that dial. Yes, beautiful. And it's a, it's a good deal. Oh, cool, short. Uh, we have full lips. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it is short. It was uh, the um, lady that was wearing it. Amazing. Have this. Oh, pretty. Mm. Well, comparison yeah. to your, uh, yeah, master, yeah, for sure. Yeah, of course. After you, after you put that on, yeah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Great looking. You're looking for anything particular or no? I mean, I'd love a uh, white gold GMT meteorite, but uh, prices are just insane. I had one. I know. I saw it. Prices are just insane. I know. It's unbelievable. I know. I mean, they're not going down. So. Mm. Wild. It's a good deal. It's amazing. It's a, it's a high retail, and then I think price is like seventeen thousand around there. It's so, a fantastic watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, compare this to mm -hmm. to this. Anya. Oh. Ah, precision. Gotcha. That's what I thought. Yeah, uh, we sent it for polish. So you have a gold watch, and then you have. This. I mean, crazy, right? You know? Does this come with a, a rubber too, or is it just the... Uh... No, we only have, I mean, we only have the... Right. I'm sure you can you can get a rubber mm -hmm. strap later on. Amazing. I'm, I'm going to chew on that one. Yeah? That's a good one. Yeah. Love stuff like that. So he was looking at the Harry Winston Rose Gold Ocean Dual Time, which I believe it's a great deal. The retail is high. I believe it's around... Um, 50, 60,000, and we were selling it for 17.5, which was a great deal. And that's a uh, box and papers too, it's set? Yes, full set. Okay. Um, have this guy. Limited edition. Back in the day, it was uh, yeah. the hottest thing ever. You I, couldn't get it. I, I saw when Roman pulled this out. Uh, yeah. It was an unboxing a little while ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great looking. Beautiful. I mean, it's not something that, you know, flies out, but for the right. Customer. And what's the material? Stainless? It's stainless steel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's full set. I think it has an extra strap as well. Beautiful. Really different. Beautiful strap. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Vacheron's going to be hotter right now, too. Right. We have this guy, too. I'm sure you've seen him as well. The dual time. Yeah, yeah. Stunning. Everybody's going crazy for this watch. I know. Well, the blue one. <laughs> yeah, the blue one and rose gold, it's, it's off the it's, charts. It is, it is. We actually, we have a blue, a blue um, date in stock. And we have this one. 
well. Yeah. Color, design, the dial, everything. This is like the original version of it. To me, this looks nicer than the Daytona. Beautiful. Depends which one, but yeah. yeah. Platinum? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful dial. Yeah, so that other Daytona, it's a polish. It's probably going to be like um, till the end of the week or a few days. So okay. I can keep you posted if you like. Yeah. I did have somebody for it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you can always WhatsApp me. Yeah, I'll, I'll WhatsApp you. It's fine. And I'll give you the, I'll check the date because I don't have them. Mm -hmm. That's the one problem because we put, we keep the papers separate from the watches. So I have so much. Information in my head. Somebody said, "What year is this?" I'm like, mm, <laughs> "If I didn't buy it, I right. don't remember it. Right. I have to look at it." Thank you again. No problem. It and, was always, uh, I'll let you know about nice the yeah. You too. I'll let you know about the Harry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's up, Agam? How do I shoot somebody an invoice on PayPal for a Maserati watch? Do you have the PayPal? The email? The uh, password? No, I do not. You do not? Okay. So, did you have their email? Yes. All you need is their email address and tell them that in a few minutes they're going to receive the PayPal invoice. Okay. That's it. You all, for a PayPal invoice, you only need um, an email address. And then how would you check out? So, when you do that, when you set up the invoice via PayPal, they receive an email from PayPal saying, Luxury Bazaar is requesting a payment. You know, and they have to do whatever they do to make the payment. Okay. So Akeb walks into my office and asking me how to send a PayPal invoice, which is something that he should have known from day maybe two, not one, we'll give him that. Um, I don't know if, if it was his fault or the person who trained him, but this is something that you need to know. And do I tell him to just give me all his information out? No, he doesn't need to give, okay, so what happens is? Like his billing, no. not his billing, his okay, so. Address. So once he pays on PayPal, you're going to have all his information. You're going to have his name, address, email address, everything. So you don't need him any okay, for anything. He's a nice guy, but I just don't know if he's cut out for this job. Um, your boy needs you to send a PayPal invoice. Who's my boy? Your boy. Your BFF. Your... Who? Nick? No, close. Your BFF. Oh, okay. Yes. The guy that makes you salads for lunch. Oh, someone keeps changing the PayPal password. What do you mean? Like, this is like the second time you change this month. Are you serious? Yes. What I if I... I don't want to like ask her for it. Tanya absolutely scares the shit out of me. What do you mean? You have to ask her for it. Oh my God. I hate when they do this. Which one's the bridge? I don't see a bridge in here. Wait, it's the bottom one. This is a bridge, this is a bridge. I don't have the password either. Seriously, hover over the, the password, like with your mouse. No, no, no. Hover over it, and then go to show. I click the thing show. That's what I hit. Yeah. It's not there. Okay, so guess what? I'll, I'll get the password. Thank you. Tanya, did you guys change the PayPal password? No. Tanya, stop changing the password. What's going on? Uh, this is the uh, the DHS. Yep. So it's, it is here. Yep. Okay, I'll come back here later. I need to see Natalie. Hello. Hello. I need to talk to you. To me? Yes. The two paddock boxes. Yes. Remember I took yep. that we had here that we have in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Sarah was supposed to ship. So Roman told Sarah to give them away. Mm -hmm. So now we don't have the paddock boxes, but there's people that owe us two mm -hmm. paddock boxes. So Adrian is supposed to follow up with them. So make sure to okay. oh, ask Adrian. Oh. oh, this is a very expensive watch that you don't put in the in the plastic Ziploc mm -hmm. that can rip. A two hundred and fifty thousand dollar watch you do not put in a Ziploc bag. Who does the wrapping here? Um, we need to wrap these. ASAP. Did you? No. The extra strap. Remember, what ordered the strap? So, ah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we need to wrap this up and put it in mm -hmm. safe box. Yes. Also, do you have a paddock pusher anywhere? 
paddock pusher. pusher. It's a little thing, pusher. like a little pusher. So some watches come with a pusher to set certain functions of the watch. And without the pusher, you cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the thing you showed me, you said, can I throw this away? Yes. That thing? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, we don't have it. This is for this watch. This is what happens. It is a pencil. It, it is a pencil, but small pencil. After that, I had to return a phone call to a client. Hi, how are Hi. you? Good morning. Good, good morning. Good. Um, I, well, I sent you a link just real quick um, on your phone, on WhatsApp, for a friend of mine. Uh, mm -hmm. He's, one, he's one, of my, one of my best friends. He's a huge watch collector, mm -hmm. and he is looking at getting a resense. So I don't know if you're, you're, you've been following, but like Hodinkee just put out their their new like resense was just like came out as their, their type 1H or whatever that is that okay. they just called it. Um, it was going for like 22.5, which is like stupid, crazy expensive right. for that watch, at least. And you know as well as I do, like these things on closeouts are crazy. And yes, I'm very good at multitasking, as you can see. You know, 50, 60 percent off. Yes, like and I and we had we had two of them, and we could not get rid of them. Um, exactly. For a long time. Exactly. Yeah. So, Watchbox has got this particular one, and. I think that I, I forgot. I, I, I clicked on it, but I didn't see what the price was on Watchbox. I think it was something like fifteen, okay, for something like that. Whatever. Um, Nate is probably ready to pull the trigger on this. He's seriously interested in the piece, and he wants to get it. I don't know anything about this particular model, but I'll see if I can find it either with them or yeah. anywhere else, and okay. uh, we'll see what we could do. I have a separate question for you real quick. Mm -hmm. So this Omega Seamaster that you had gotten me from before. Oh, I think that was the first watch you ever got from me. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. You're yes. Correct. Um, if I wanted to flip that out for a white one, what's the, why, why? What's the process for that? Uh, <laughs> the Why? Uh, mainly because like, I have so much blue. Right. And it's I mean, like I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit. It really doesn't make sense because you're gonna lose on the blue, okay. and then you're gonna get the white for the same price. So it's it doesn't make sense for you. I wouldn't let you do it. Okay. Actually. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're my guardian, so it's all yeah. Good. We're, we're set on I that. mean, I would like to uh, get it, <laughs> but, but I'm not gonna do it to you. It, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to. Okay, to, that's fair. Mm -hmm. That's fair. So he actually wanted to trade in a watch for the same exact watch, but with a different color dial. And it just doesn't make sense. And I always try to be honest with my customers because trust is everything in this business. We'll figure it out. Uh, but uh, either way, good luck with the lead. Um, yep. Let me know on the, on the watch box one and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll wait for you on the watch box. So okay. Sounds good. To Talk to you soon. Thanks, bye. 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 You're not allowed to touch knives for a while. <laughs> we have another incident here. Are these shoes? Nope. Oh wow, Glenn Fittish 30? Damn. Yeah, it's Glenn Fittish 30. This is big. This is fantastic. Shout Thank you so way. much. We're gonna have to find out who that was sent from. Oh wait a second. Oh, wait a second. A wait a second. There. Maybe I should just open up the package more. Right. As usual, thanks for everything and hope you enjoy this. Regards, Otto. Oh, my man, Otto. Otto, I owe you an RM strap, by the way, buddy. It's on the way. It's easier to get you your quarter million dollar watch, but it's harder to find a strap for it nowadays. But thank you very much. Life is good. Yep. I can't complain. Life's a beach. I'm just playing in the sand. Yo, I just want to let you know I'm winning at this watches and whiskey game as of right now. If, if there's a point total, Glenn fit is 30 action. That's a great bottle. I had that. Of course you do. Wait a second. Wait a second. And then Luke brought his own for Adrian. Oh. Are you? Are you? Are we buying this? Oh, yeah. this is the, the this is the one we talked about the other day. No. Sig Rattler. Yep. And 300 blackout. This is a 300 blackout that that has like a five inch barrel. Or something. It's literally the same size as this bottle. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and shoots around about this big. <laughs> Roman. My pleasure. Yeah. Enjoy the beach. Thank you. Bye. We'll be in Miami soon, permanently. 
This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Yes. I just knocked you out of the park. <laughs> 5271P. This is what I want to wear on my wedding. Nice. Alex, reference is? I forgot, it was like 15. Yes. Yeah? Uh, five, zero. There nice. it is. Nice. 37 bluesy. You got two of them. What's with the oh, smell of AP good. boxes lately? I actually like that smell. I hate that. It's disgusting. Ever since I had COVID, like my... Oh, my uh, well, that's your problem. Are all <laughs> I didn't have COVID. That doesn't smell good. Full, uh, not full plastics, but close to. Close to. Always good. Got a big wrist. This is the one, it's the one to go with. Another two door. Wait, is that the same one we got before? Uh, yes. Like, the same exact one. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Can your voice get any higher? <laughs> <laughs> what? S sign off. Sign off. Sign off on this one. Have a great weekend. They're shooting a day in the life, Anna. You can take it from here. Have a great weekend, everybody. So when I moved to the US, I started going to college full time. I was working three jobs to support myself and was also a full-time student. When I graduated college, I was looking for a real job. I was asking all my family and friends, and I asked my cousin, does she know anybody? Because she knows a lot of people. She's like um, Roman, he does watches. They said that he's looking for a receptionist. So at that point I said, why not? Let's try it while I look for a real job. It's not the original Montoya strap. Right, like right. With the white stitching, but okay. actually it looks nice. <laughs> okay. We can get it for you though if you, we might have one here. Okay. Yeah, it's a little snug, but. So this is the same size as the Navy. Okay. Yeah, because I think the 44s a lot of times they just seem too big. This is, this is the 44. That's a 44, mm -hmm. okay. It's a Schumacher. Decent sized guy, but I don't think my wrists are that big. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, it, listen, people with smaller wrists wear the larger watches, but it's how it's yeah, what's comfortable for you. Yes, yeah, different other straps. Seems so. Big. I think it looks good, to be honest with you. It just looks so big compared to the, the <laughs> Rolex oh, well, or forties. That's the thing compared, you know? compared to the Rolex. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. This is also forty-two. This is the. Titanium one, the new version. Is it the the forty three mil? Or yes. The, okay. Forty two, I believe. Yeah, I feel like I practically know you guys. I watch all the videos. <laughs> I'm gonna get Roman. He's actually, oh, yeah. I think he's in a meeting, but I'll, I'm sure he'll be happy to hit to meet you. There My goal is to try to, you know, stay within the mid to low twenties, or so, or I gotta trade in, you know, the Batman and right. move up. I or, mean, if you like it and you wear it, I yeah. don't see. It. A reason for you to trade it in yeah because you're gonna probably because you, you can't buy it for the same price yeah okay right now well i have, I have my wife and i have five daughters so i'm gonna need some watches to give it a grandkids for one sure. day i'm sure for so. sure <laughs> if you strongly considering the navy mm -hmm. the person that has it i can request for him to okay. ship it to me and you can try it so home. in your opinion you th you think like Hence value wise value wise like this. yeah i want to buy a watch that holds its value and right. enjoy and you know things like that i mean we so. don't know what's going to happen in the future True. but this yeah. is basically a safer bet well roman has a crystal ball right <laughs> I, I don't have the, the code for that <laughs> yeah this was originally the one that i really wanted so and then but i couldn't tell if it was too big on it. Right. i can't tell what wrist wise you know i mean yeah i might have to do that one well, listen, this is like meant to be. You mentioned Montoya, and we just happened to have one. It's I not know, like we have here, yeah. you know. I know, you see, yeah. we don't have a lot of uh, inventory right now. Yeah. And what would like a, a rubber strap Rubber strap, we may that? have one. So okay. I'll, I'll have to take a look. We might have one. Okay. So I'll just add it to it, but it's a few hundred dollars otherwise. Okay. Let me see what Roman is. Okay. Get, get him out of here. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. So you went from a, 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 a Navy to Navy. a Montoya. I'm biased, I like the Montoya better. Well, this was originally the one I wanted and I kept going back and forth trying APs because some of them are too big, you know, I feel, and then... Well, the Navy's, the Navy, the Montoya, all the older offshores, yeah. the Bubble B, your right. Schumacher, they're all gonna be the same size. Right. Uh, and they're all that, well, they call them 42. 
but, but in reality, the, <laughs> yeah. in reality, this is your 42 right here. Right. Right. Even the like, it, it's this is the 42. Right. But in reality, they still wear like a 44. Mm -hmm. Like this is. I've tried some 44s and they're just too big. Yeah. You know, that's and they, just feel that. So so, but this is a 44. Roman, don't drop it. And you can see the difference. Right. But I, I mean? Yeah, and I didn't. I think I can pull off a 44. I've tried a few 44s on. It doesn't look. See, I'm one of those guys that wants to wear bigger watches, but I can't because I have a girl's wrist. And yeah. It just it pisses me off. Like that's my favorite watch, the concept. Yeah. But I could never wear it. That's way too big. Yeah. You know. You're actually. Where are you from originally? South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. But I've been here 30 right. years. And you don't lose that. I uh, know. <laughs> that's great. I left Brooklyn. I, move. More than 25 years ago, and I, yeah. still, I still can't you lose still it. have a Russian accent? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I'll go back to work. Sure. Okay, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very Thanks much. for all your help. I Appreciate it. All right, I think I'll, I think I'll want that one. Okay. Awesome. Appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Nice meeting all you. All right, thank you. Montoya was a great purchase, and it just meant to be. So leave it up to Cameron to hire himself for his own birthday party. I guess that's, uh, that's how magicians roll. First of all, how did you just do that? So you can pull it from the corners. Yeah. I'll give you a half pack so the cards don't go everywhere. <laughs> Confidence. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> you play poker well? No, I don't play any. I don't play any card games. Oh, I you feel should. like you would be. You really, you really should. Yeah. You chose a three, and then you chose a heart. Yes. So the three of hearts. Can I take the cards? You said the three of hearts. If I just wave. <laughs> Can you cut the cake in the center? No. <laughs> cut the cake. Cut the no. cake. No. No way. Where is Oh, stop playing! No. Oh my god! Check it out. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can <laughs> you put that dirty ace card in that cake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. So I decided to take the team out for a Uzbeki slash Russian lunch to talk about the reunion. It's nice to have some meetings outside of the office while we're eating and drinking. We're more creative and a brainstorm session goes better. Season finale, if we start a second season, or if we end the first season, if we just or yeah, we just keep going, right. wrap up show. So we're gonna bring in some guests live, some guests via Zoom. Um, obviously, we need to figure out who's coming, who's right. available, and then the big question is whether we throw an actual party, like whether we have people there. Am I Roman's like, yeah, we do a big party. You know. Nick, wake the f up. How do we record this thing? If we if we start well, we get there in the morning record in the afternoon and then the nighttime would be a So party. you want to record this without the live audience, but then we're no, missing I, out. No, we, I want the live audience. But the entire live audience? Like, like, like 50, 60 people. Yeah. You do like I, a like wedding or something. Like we would have to have like a limited, yeah, limited yeah. Like, like, obviously the people that are going to be guests that will have be coming up to the stage, company, you know, employees and, yeah. and anybody that we do business with, because we can expect them to like be respectful and be quiet. Of course, yeah. If we have 200 people there with drinks on the table, there's no Way anybody's gonna be quiet. Yeah. We're celebrating the success of uh, success of Great Market and what we've done so far. Yeah. Um, and we're creating yeah, a, a wrap up show to talk exactly. about everything that's happened. It's a season one wrap -up. You know, talk about any like loose ends, right. any drama. The only right. thing is, a lot of the questions I keep getting that I, we can't really use are very like watch specific. Hey Roman, what would you recommend? This or this? Yeah, that's not really. That's it's not really going to work for this show. It has to be more like it's a more pressure, um, more Roman. Like, if you could do anything else in the world, what would it be? You know, Adrian, um, how much money would it take for you to leave the company? You know, like shit like that. Like can we figure out a host. Like, yeah, I'm going to host it. No, God, please no. Me and Nick are so different, and you can tell just based off our cars. You can tell based well, off your shoes. You don't need to look at your cars. Look how different my car is compared to Nick's. You can, it's just like, it's just hilarious because me and Nick are such different people and you can tell just by looking at our cars completely how different we are. I don't think we're that different. We're very different.
When I started working, I was the only employee, so I was doing everything. I was picking up the phones, I was accepting shipments, I was sending shipments, I was taking pictures of watches and like a little microwave looking thing. And obviously I started to do sales because when Roman wasn't there, I uh, had to do it. Good morning. I didn't dial the wrong number, did I? I did? Uh, can you come here a second? Yes. Oh. I didn't dial the wrong number. <laughs> I usually do. Good morning. What's up? Good morning. How was your evening? Good, good. How was yours? Good. Yeah, so you got to Thailand in six hours. I know. <laughs> it was a nice trip. <laughs> nice short trip. <laughs> How was your uh, Poconos? Or it was good. Did you go to Poconos? Uh, June 4th. Oh. Not, not June 4th. Did you hunt? No, it's not that easy. I fished. Did you catch any fish? No, no he didn't. Time. My daughter caught eight fish last night over the Poconos. I'm just saying. She's eight. Eight? Eight. But they were all released. It's fine. <laughs> Anna's daughter is a better fisher than I am. <laughs> Nick, you got some competition. What happened with that, that um, guy that you were and Alex were? Like, oh, I talked to him and I talked to oh, him too. Oh, yeah, so this guy, uh, it's actually the guy that we bought the coke off of. Not that kind of coke. <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, he, like, sells watches. Like, okay. He, like, has a bunch of watches. His family so he, him. He's a flipper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a little flip boy. Uh, he, I put a thing on my Instagram asking if anyone was selling. His dad was interested in selling Swimbledon. No harm, no foul. I actually Badminton. called Alex Badminton. I called Alex about it afterwards. Like, yeah, dude, no worries. So I gave him a quote. He said he'd keep it. Uh, why, uh, why, what happened like in the first place? He reached out to him as well? No, so I guess he talks to Alex about like other things as well. But like he's been blowing up my Instagram all weekend. Mm -hmm. So when I put that up, he just. You have to be careful with that because some people talk right. to multiple. Which is why I put it in the group chat right. as opposed to just exactly. trade to, to Adrian. Thinking they can get different prices. Exactly. Well, that happened uh, earlier this what? weekend. About what? Uh, with the bluesy. I was what given happened? one quote from Adrian, mm -hmm. and then Alex gave this guy another quote. <coughs> Luckily, we had two watches, and one right. of them, the cost was a little bit higher, so the number was right that I gave him. Right. Well, some people do that yeah. on purpose. Yeah. So, it's a little, little beware. Fun. Oh, and I'm waiting for a client to send us that uh, that two tone soap that I'm taking in our trade for a badminton. Like, I, I'll like, keep us Which one? In the 2021. Well, that I have a hold. You mean the bad girl? Yes, bad girl. I like, haven't got a hold of him. I like, called him Friday night. I shot him a text yesterday. He has a label. Mm -hmm. the, listen, just because they they say they're gonna ship yeah. it doesn't mean that it's actually gonna happen. Sure. That's why don't jump. Like don't say like this is sold or because right. just some because somebody says I'm buying it until you receive the payment. That doesn't mean anything because people change their minds all the time. So Nick obviously is new to sales and he gets excited about every deal. But unfortunately, just because somebody says he's gonna buy it doesn't mean that he's actually going to buy it. You seem happy. So your boy, Nick. Yes. He started selling, technically, I don't know if he was selling all of last month. He made a whopping, I don't know, $2,000 in commissions, which is lower than his paycheck. Should I give him something or just? No, I think we can throw him. Throw him 500? For sure. All right, he's, I mean, he's doing, he's yeah, doing a great I'm job. not even, uh, I'm not even considering right now because he didn't really do anything. Right. But uh, no, he's uh, Nick is definitely trying. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe get him in here. Just call the wrong number. Again. Yeah. Yes. So I'm talking to your boss. Uh, basically, I looked at the commissions for the month. Mm -hmm. It's not fair to judge your commissions because you kind of like started halfway through the month more or less, right? But you still ended up racking in a little over two thousand in commissions which is less than your monthly pay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the monthly pay still for last month, but we're gonna throw you a little bone because Anna says you're doing a wonderful job. So we'll just leave it at that. I think that it's, you, you literally picked the wrong month to go into sales, right. I'll be honest. Well, you didn't really pick it, but what, I'm, what we're saying is that, you know, July is slow, August is slow, but things pick up towards the end of August, so technically you should have a good month. You know what you take home on a monthly basis. You're not like Alex, remember when Alex came in? He's like, I'm like, how much do you make? Uh. <laughs> so, so this is where you are monthly, right? Yeah, it's obviously yeah. before taxes, right? So that's the figure you need to surpass. And the minute you surpass that figure, we still add the $500 a week. 
right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, which Anna decided that we're just gonna throw you a little bone for last month and you're just gonna continue tacking away. Cool, thank All you right. guys, appreciate it. I'm just gonna ask you something else. The guy with the, the big bulgari necklace, is he coming? Mm -hmm. When? Uh, tomorrow or Wednesday, probably. Tomorrow or Wednesday. And because we kind of will have it sold if he doesn't take I it. I know, he Gary told me. Um, I mean, it's it's a good client, and his wife really wants to try it on. So, awesome. you know. I'd love. To, I'm sure I'd love to meet him too. So, unfortunately, the client wasn't able to show up, but it's okay because this necklace was sold. As far as money this week, what do you got purchased and going out? Um, okay, here's my issue: is I'm not getting the communication in a timely fashion for stuff that you guys where you fill orders, right? So you go and order a fifty thousand dollar watch, you fill it, Nick fills it, Alex fills it, anybody fills it, and I don't, and then I get hit with the end of the week. It's like, oh, we got to pay this guy, this guy, this guy. No, well, we discuss the, when we send the sale. We say, well, this is a wire for fifty thousand, but really five is ours, and fifty. Okay, so the, the what all I really want is I want those wires to go out right away right. because what it does at the end of the week I get hit with an extra half a million right. of stuff that was already paid for that wasn't even ours. Right. That's the only thing I need. 5270, okay, the 5970 you were working on. You so, said you was on hold. Well, it's for a guy on the toilet. So he okay. is coming back on, I think the 9th or the 8th. So we're gonna have to hold it for like a week, which yes. is okay, if I'm okay with that. He's gonna send in, what was that limited paddock? That steel, ugly color trial, 50, five, five zero. You know what I'm talking about? They just color travel? Yeah, the one that Look just came out that's selling for like stupid money. The 60. It's like 19? that blue. Yeah, like no, 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 not the one we have. I'm talking about that limited one that came out last year. The 5212. Yes, that one. So he it's wants not to that ugly. I think it's nice. I just sold one. For whom hell? Uh, I he's sending that in. He's also sending that ladies color travel in. Uh, so once he does that, we need to figure out the numbers. I told him 175 on the 5970, which is fair. For a double seal. Very fair. Fifty two seventy one. I know you're working on it. Do you want to offer that to him as well? Yeah. How much? Two fifty. Two fifty. Wow, you're so nice. Well, <laughs> where, did, where are you gonna find a new one like that for that price? But is it new the fifty two seventy one? Yeah. So what's with the ugly with the strap? strap? There's an original strap as well. Um, I'm also gonna have a talk with Alex and give him a little bit of advice. On? How to talk to customers. Why would happen? Remember the text he sent, the screenshot of the guy when he was bullying him into <laughs> sending a deposit for $500? Right. I told him, I said, you know, if, the guy, if we've done business with the guy before. No, but regardless, you can't like bully something, if somebody into buying, purchasing. Do you, you know what I mean? Like, give me a deposit now because it's not going to be here anymore like, the, like a used car salesman. <laughs> Get a bit. Alex! <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to put him on the spot. Like, he doesn't care to be put on the spot. Okay. That whole tech situation with the guy where you were kind of like bullying him into a $500 deposit. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Because what happens is you, you don't want to come off as a used car salesman, especially I think this is a guy we've done business with before. It, it doesn't matter, well, regardless. The, the, thing, well, what the, thing, well, the thing about, uh, I've been talking to this guy for months. Okay. I've confirmed a few options with this guy, for, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, he mentioned something about leaving a deposit. And the last thing I wanted was, you know, I, I, my response is 25% deposit. That's just how it is, whatever. You know, if you're okay with that, it's fine. But uh, I don't know. It was just something like... Something about that guy. What the, what, what, what the hell did he just say? <laughs> Could somebody, somebody translate okay. what, what he just explained? Okay, listen, right, right, listen, I, it, no, doesn't it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, listen now. No, it doesn't matter if you've been dealing with him for a month, yeah. two weeks, three days, if he's not going to put a deposit, then he's going to lose the watch if it sells. Yeah. But guess what? Even if we sell, we sell the one that we have here, you can get the same one for the same price. Is that a fact? People get turned off when, by, you, try by, to push when, you, when you push for payment. I let it be known in a conversation mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, look, it's, it's subject to availability. It always is subject to availability. Right. If it gets to a point where the guy says, I'm sending you payment, how long does it take to get a payment? 24 or 48 hours? They tell them, look, okay, I'll have the, you literally tell them, I have the watch on hold to you for 48 hours. Once the payment arrives, we'll continue with the transaction. That way, he's, you did let him know that, look, if we don't get the payment, you know, it's free game, right? right? But if, but he also given him 48 hours, which is more than enough. Right. In that case, some guy may tell, well, you know what, I'm traveling, I may not be able to get payment to until Monday. Say, so, okay, it's not an issue. If it's, if it's within reason, like, like I just literally talked to Anna about the 5970. I put her on hold till the 9th. 
Well, that, listen, that, that's somebody that we've been well, doing I mean, business like, with. But even if, it, but, but if it's somebody that, you know, even somebody says, can you please hold it for me for a week, I think a week is reasonable. No, I know. I, you know what? Unless you physically this, have somebody that's like ready to no, buy it now. No, but the thing now. is, this is not a 5970. This is a two-tone Submariner. You can get them any day. It doesn't matter. The one that so I bought last week, that one? We have two of them, but okay. regardless. You, it doesn't well, matter. Yeah. If this one sells, you I, know you can get another I was, one. I was pretty harsh with this one. But when, when I, I just, when I read, like when I I just, read the text, yeah. it, it sounded rude. I don't know, maybe it translated, you know. Yeah. So Alex was working on a deal with a customer, and um, he was trying to... I guess you can say bully him into a sale, trying to ask for a deposit. I just wanted to guide him in the right direction. Anything else for me? Because I gotta go catch uh, I'm up. I'm sure I'll remember something as soon as yeah, we leave the office. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I have this meeting in five minutes. Hopefully this guy is on his way. You were interviewing somebody? Uh, yeah. So, um, I don't personally, what are your thoughts on Agib? Is it person? <laughs> no, as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a position that he's holding right now. Um, he can be brutally honest. Brutally honest? I think he needs some time. Do you see him as an Alex six months from now? Do you see him even as a Nick six months from now? No. Exactly. So we have, we're going to have a decision to make. This is the worst part of any business. Unfortunately, Akib is not going to be on any future episodes. He's a great guy and a hard worker, and we wish him all the best. So Avi briefly told me about, you know, what you've been up to mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Uh, and I'll let him, you can tell him what you've been doing out Should on, I? on the West Coast. Yeah. Dude, all right, it's been a story. I mean, it's like, do I start from six years ago or like over the last year? Uh, how about you tell, you, tell, you tell me that story quickly in the next five minutes just so I get an idea of what's going Done. on. Done. Okay, moved out there, entered the acting and modeling industry, had an agent, went to some crazy Hollywood party shenanigans. <clears throat> Learned how to network with people the Sounds Hollywood fun. way, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, ended up getting kind of bored from that, wanted to get into business. Decided to pick cannabis. It was a booming new legal industry. So I joined the cannabis industry in California. Had three different positions, um, basically learning the ropes. Like from the beginning, I was a delivery guy. Then I went into office management. Then I went into customer service. Um, then I built my own Quality CST. control by any chance? Specifically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that would be a hell of a job in that industry. That's like an agreed upon position for everyone in the company. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. you know, it's not on paper, but we all know what we're doing. I just then. don't understand. I never, I never understood that. I, if I smoke, I'm just stupid. I, I cannot yeah, work. I can't work. I just get stupid right away. It's the culture. Yeah, you get used to it. Because when you're constantly being surrounded by people who go on a lunch break, pull out a pack of joints, they're like, hey, you want one? You want one? You that want one? That is so weird. I felt like everyone I knew was really into weed and I couldn't match their level of energy for it. <laughs> So, <laughs> hey man, did you ever look at the back of the twenty dollar bill on weed? That's the best movie ever. So, what did you tell him about the job so far? I thought it's a horrible atmosphere. Um, mm -hmm. It sucks. And <laughs> tell me how you really fucking. I thought about how amazing it is. How amazing <laughs> this opportunity is. How if he comes in with customer service, sure, he's not going to make a million bucks doing customer service, but the opportunity to transition into sales, facilitating sales is significant. Um, did you give him specific examples? Yes, I did. Um, I told him obviously about Alex's experience here and the last eight months that he's been here. It's been pretty great. Same thing with Nick. Yeah, I mean, just gotta learn the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the technological background, he's got the, the drive, he's got the look and feel of a solid salesperson, a solid representative of Luxury Bazaar. That's why I think he would be a really good fit. Um, all he's missing is the knowledge. I mean, obviously the, the, the knowledge that you learn from handling these watches, from talking to these customers, from talking to Adrian, talking to Anna, talking to Roman, figuring out, you know, what watch does what? You know, what is a complication? What is a reference number? How much they go for in so, the market? So I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this. That should be the least of your concerns, and I'll tell you why, because what happens in a sales slash customer service position here today is you get to handle stuff all day, every day. And the minute you get an inquiry on a particular watch, I make it a rule of thumb for my uh, salespeople say, oh, so you talking about a guy about this watch, sell me 10 things about this watch. And today, not only do you have uh, Wikipedia, you also have me who's a walking encyclopedia when it comes to watches. You have Anna who's been doing this for going on 16 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, you have Adrian who is the buyer and he understands the market thoroughly. We don't trade salespeople, we train 
facilitators. Educators. educators and facilitators, because yeah. I believe that you have to educate your consumer first and foremost before making the sales, and then they'll feel stupid to buy anywhere else, regardless of price, but from you, once mm -hmm. you educate them well enough and create that type of trusting relationship. This Unknown thing. perk is the travel. I mean, Alex and Nick just went to Vegas, Alex mm -hmm. went to Puerto Rico. Um, Alex is going to Vegas mm -hmm. with them on the sh next show. Cameron is going to Vegas. Cam Cameron's going to and Vegas. And Cameron is a magician, so he's going to be... He's a magician. Right, right that's fucking what? Shit. You're a magician? Yeah. Pulls a f three yeah. hearts out of his cake. Three I, I saw that on Instagram, I'm like... Yeah, I have no idea how he did it, but it's amazing. Yeah, it's so amazing. now he's going to work on uh, making me 10 years younger. Yeah. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's his next trick. Yeah, I'm not that good, so good luck with that, Roman. All right, well, look, I got a lot of stuff to do. Why don't you show him around the office? Okay. Uh, talk, talk, you know, show them what yeah. this, this is like, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. I always treated this business as if it were my own, and I set the same standards for any new salesperson that comes in here. This is a normal week for me. In my wildest dreams, I didn't expect to be a watch dealer. I got really lucky because Roman is such a great mentor. I put 100% in everything that I do, and I'm never afraid of a challenge. My name is Anna, and I'm a watch dealer on a gray market.